Hi everyone, I'm Sam Kim. In this video, I'd like to share how to calculate canonical correlation. As you know, we have covered simple linear correlation and multiple correlation in the previous videos. The canonical correlation is a generalized method to cover all cases. For example, if we have y1 and x1, it means simple linear correlation. Also, if we have one y1 and many x variables, it means multiple correlation. Let me share how to calculate canonical correlation in our program after explaining key concepts of canonical correlation. This is variance covariance matrix of all variables. And this is variance covariance matrix of all y variables. And this is the variance covariance matrix of all x variables. And the green matrix means covariance matrix of all variables. In canonical correlation analysis, we want to know the, the linear combination of x variables and y variables. Let's say V as the linear combination of x variables. And let's say W as the linear combination of y variables. Then we can calculate expectation and variance and covariance by using this formula. Also, we can get correlation coefficients between V and W. The key task is to find out alpha vector and beta vector to maximize the correlation coefficients. According to statistical theory, we can find out correlation coefficients and alpha vector and beta vector by using canonical equation. This is called by characteristic function. Let me show you how to calculate A star and B star, which are symmetric matrix to get canonical correlation coefficients and linear combination to get V and W from eigenvalue and eigenvector decomposition. Currently, Excel does not have built-in tool to get eigenvalue and eigenvector. So you need to run VVA or add-in tool if you want to run canonical analysis within Excel. So in this video, I will use our program to calculate eigenvalue and eigenvectors by using built-in function. This is data, uh, what I'm going to analyze. So there are two X variables and two Y variables. There is one reference site I have used to make this video. So let's read data. So as you can see, there are two uh, x variables and two y variables, right? So uh, I will show you how to calculate uh, canonical cor uh, correlation by using built-in function. So let's activate uh, deployer for data management. Let's use select function. And X. Okay. As you know, I just uh, pressed Ctrl Enter to run uh, each sentence. Let's save the results as canker xy. So, canonical uh, correlation canker uh, function and x comma y x center true. You don't need to type in uh, center uh, x center and y center because it's a default. But I just uh, show you. I want to show you. Uh, I used. Uh, default option, right? So let's get 
run the result. Let's see the results. All right. So there are two uh, canonical correlation coefficients. The left one is the biggest one, the largest one, this one, uh, 0 0.7885. And uh, there is a coefficient for x uh, variables. So this is a linear combination coefficients. So this is uh, k1, this is uh, k2. And also, we can see uh, coefficients for linear combination for y. So this is k1 and k2. I will show you how to get this one uh, by a manual computation. Okay. So uh, let's calculate uh, covariance first. First, this is the name of the uh, result. C of v function x comma y. And let's calculate covariance of x, c of v, uh, x, and covariance y. Okay. And right. Then, uh, Okay, let's calculate eigenvalue and vector c of v six so we can use eigen function c of v underscore xx uh, as a data name and c of v y y underscore eigen Let's check the results. So, yep. So, uh, C of V X X eigen uh, includes eigen value and eigen vector here, right? As a list. So, okay. Uh, in order to calculate this one, uh, sigma uh, X of minus square root. Uh, let's use uh, uh, activate library uh, okay. right so let's get see of, let's give a name uh, xx SQRT, yeah. So to I just give a name like this way to mention this matrix. Uh, we can use SQRTM function in a uh, prop map and COV XX, right? So uh, first, let me show you uh, if I run SQRTM. So it includes um, right so uh, uh, square roots of covariance SB and also inverse matrix so actually we want to uh, use uh, inverse so we need to add dollar and B I and B right then uh, if I run this sentence and it will save only uh, inverse matrix here. Okay. And again, C of V, MB, RT, Q, RT, M, V, Y, Y, and dollar B inverse. Uh, let's calculate uh, canonical correlation uh, coefficients uh, by using all uh, uh, data. So let's say A star here. So A star. Uh, 
we need to use a matrix computation so c of v x x i and b square t and yeah percent uh, asterisk percent uh, in r uh, it uh, it makes us to uh, matrix computation so, and we need to uh, calculate uh, covariance x y this part the green part and to calculate uh, inverse the dark blue here so we can use solve function okay c o v y y and and let's say uh, the transpose covariance matrix x y so if i transpose covariance x y it will be covariance of y x right okay. and Variance x x inverse s square t, right? The red part on the right side. Okay. I hope uh, this sentence works. So let's check. Control Enter. Right. Okay. Then we can easily uh, get uh, b star, right? C O V y y I am B square root variance variance x y yeah then I uh, when if we use transpose function we can get green sigma y x right and then okay uh, the inverse function C O V x x Covariance x y and covariance y y i m b s k r t right <clears throat> right so let's uh, check again a star okay then. Uh, if we use a square root function All right so 0 0.788 <clears throat> so let's see this one uh, yep here can curl xy so let's see correlation so let's compare the, our manual computation output and built-in function output right so yep same result so we can get the same output from uh, b matrix so let's use eigen function b star okay and then square t b values right same so a b and canker dollar c r show uh, same result as a um, uh, canonical correlation coefficient so let's get a uh, coefficient of x variables and coefficient of y variables so so we want to find out alpha vector and beta vector right so we can use um, okay c how uh, we x x inverse square roots and matrix multiply and a vectors if i calculate run this sentence yeah uh, i got this result but uh, it's a little bit different from uh, canker right 
but this is uh, only matters about scale so let me uh, divide it by uh, square root of total number of rows and minus one yep in covariance matrix we divide it by n minus one right so if i run uh, this sentence okay yep we have the same uh, result but only the sign is different right so it matters how we see the data from uh, front side or backward side so if i just add minus sign here i got same result like this one All right, so let's calculate uh, yy and b vectors if I run this sentence okay let's check Okay, cool, same. Right. So, uh, in summary, uh, once I read data in R program, okay, I saved uh, x variables as x and y variables as y, and I ran a canker uh, R program. Then I was able to get uh, correlation coefficients and uh, the linear combination uh, I mean uh, coefficients for linear combination so uh, in the second explanation uh, sentence sentences I explained I showed you how to calculate uh, canonical correlation coefficients and uh, X and Y coefficients for linear combinations by manual I mean manual computation so I hope it was useful for you to clearly understand uh, canonical correlation and the concept. I hope it was useful for you to understand it. Please click like and subscribe if it was useful for you. And yeah, looking forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.